Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the collapse load in a propped cantilever beam when it is subjected to uniformly distributed load for the whole span. We are going to use two methods static method and kinematic method. First, let us use static method. This is the bending moment diagram in a propped cantilever beam when it is subjected to UDL for the full span. In this diagram, we have two parts. This is drawn using the end moment in the fixed end A. This is drawn considering the beam as a simply supported beam. Let us assume that the maximum positive bending moment occurs in the point C which is at a distance of X from the propped end. If this distance is X, this distance should be L minus X. Let us see how this term comes. In the simply supported beam, if UDL is acting for the full span, the reactions will be WL upon 2 and WL upon 2. Let us take moment about to C from the propped end. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. The reaction RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is x. So WL upon 2 into x. The UDL is acting in the clockwise direction. So it will be negative. For the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and a distance upon 2. Here the distance is x. So x into x upon 2 x into x we will get x square this is how this term comes now we have to find this height for the distance of l the height is mb so for l it is mb but we need the height at the distance of x so we have to multiply with the x when we do that, we are getting the height as mbx upon L. The total height mb plus mbx upon L should be equal to this term. So we can equate both of them. We can take wcx upon 2 outside. So here we will have L minus x. Right side, we can take MB outside. Here, we can take LCM. 1 into L, we will get L. Let us take L plus X upon L on the other side. They will come inversely. Finally, for MB, we are getting these. For MP to be maximum, we need to differentiate MP with respect to X and equate that to 0. For MB, we have made this expression. So we have to differentiate that with respect to X. And then we have to equate the differentiation to 0. WC, L and 2 are constants. We can take them outside and then on the right side. So it will be 0. Here in the numerator and denominator, we have X. So we have to use d upon dx u upon v formula. In this formula, u is xl minus x square and v is l plus x. v square is equal to l plus x the whole square. Then v l plus x. Then we have to differentiate xl minus x square. When we differentiate xl, we will get l. And when we differentiate x square, we will get 2x. u is xl minus x square. Then we have to differentiate l plus x. 
for L it will be 0 and for X it will be 1. We can take L plus X the whole square on the right side. When we multiply that with the 0 we will get 0. Let us multiply these two terms. We will get these. Then let us take this negative sign inside. Then we will get these. We can eliminate xl. Minus 2x square plus x square. We will get minus x square. Here let us change all the signs. It will be positive x square. It will be positive 2lx and it will be minus l square. Now let us solve this equation using the quadric equation formula. Here a is 1, b is 2l and c is minus l square. In the formula let us apply the values. 2l the whole square we will get 4l square. Minus into minus it will be positive. 4l square plus 4l square we will get 8l square. In this equation there will be two solutions. One will be with the positive sign and another one will be with the negative sign. The negative sign is not possible. When we take the negative sign x will be negative. So it is not possible. In this case we have to only take a positive sign. When we add these two, we will get 0.828L, 0.828 upon 2, it will be 0.414. Just before we have made this equation, in this one, instead of x, we can apply this. L minus 0.414L, it will be 0.586L, L plus 0.414L, it will be 1.414L. Then we can eliminate this L and this L. Using the calculator for MP, we will get this. We can take these two terms on the other side. They will come in the denominator. 1 upon 0 0.0858 is 11.655. In this way, for the collapse load WC, we will get 11.655 MP upon L square. Now, let us use kinematic method. Let us assume that the virtual displacement delta occurs at a distance of x from the point B. Let us keep this angle as theta 1, this angle as theta 2. So this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 1 is equal to delta upon L minus X. The value of tan theta 1 will be very small. So tan theta 1 will be approximately equal to theta 1. So we can take theta 1 is equal to delta upon L minus X. Now let us make an expression for delta. Let us take L minus X on the other side. When we do that, we will get delta, which is equal to theta 1 into L minus x. Now, let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 2 is equal to delta upon x. We know that tan theta 2 is approximately equal to theta 2. So, we can take theta 2 is equal to delta upon x. Let us apply the value of delta. So theta 2 is equal to theta 1 into L minus x upon x. Now let us find internal work done. In this cantilever beam, there are two plastic hinges. In the fixed end A, there is a plastic hinge. And due to the load at the distance of x, there is another plastic hinge. So there are two plastic hinges. In this plastic hinge, the angle is theta 1. We have to multiply mb with the angle. So we will get mb theta 1. In this plastic hinge, we have the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. 
So we have to multiply MB with this angle. We have to add these two. Instead of theta 2, we can apply theta 1 L minus X upon X. We can take theta 1 outside. Then we can take MB theta 1 outside. 1 plus 1, we will get 2. Here we can take LCM. 2 into X, we will get 2X. 2X minus X, we will get X. This is the internal work done. Now let us find the external work done. For that, we have to multiply the load with the area of this triangle. The area of this triangle is half into delta into L. For delta, we can apply theta 1 into L minus X. Now let us equate external work done and internal work done. We can eliminate theta 1. Let us take L plus X upon X on the other side. They will come inversely. Finally, for MB, we are getting this. For MB to be maximum, we have to differentiate MB with respect to X and then equate that to 0. These steps we have already seen in the static method. We have to follow the same procedure. Finally, we will get MP and WC, same like a static method. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.